three. He's rolling just about every time. Uh, what I'm seeing is every time you come up with that three, one, two, three, he's right hand. rolling with the three here uh. to avoid, and then he's coming up underneath. What's up, everybody? It's Tony Mack. This is the Hidden Gym Expert Breakdown. And I'm the expert. Mr. Ocho, one and only. Kai, right, you're the expert at boxing. Yeah, he's an expert at MMA. MMA. And so we're going to help break down that Mike Tyson video that went viral. Yeah. And I got to say, he's 53 years old. And he still got it, Ocho. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it all starts here in the mind. And Mike Tyson's always been a killer. Uh, and he knows what he's good at. So obviously being a shorter heavyweight, he needs to get on the inside. Yep. And he's just built upon that his whole career and tried to make people miss and really make them pay, knock them out every time they do. But I gotta say his muscle memory is real. All right, so he's 53 years old and he's thinking about making a comeback. I think that he's out of shape, but I think if he get his mind right, he get back in shape, I think he could do some damage to the gatekeepers in boxing in. If you do something charity, I don't know who's going to get in the ring with Mike Tyson, do a charity boxing, you got to be crazy. But uh, I wonder who that's going to be. Man. But at the same time, I think that uh, Mike Tyson still got something. I don't know if he's top 10 heavyweight or even top 20, but if you want to fight a gatekeeper, I think Mike Tyson still could do it. And uh, you saw that video, man, it's crazy. He still got that puncher power, that scary speed. Yeah, he can definitely uh, you know, come back to the game if you wanted to. He, he hasn't been really knocked out. Uh, cold very many times and I think he's still got his, his, his brain about it. Like he, he doesn't have too much brain trauma. So going forward, he can, uh, he can still get in there and compete. Let's take a look at this video one more time. Look at this punch of power, it's crazy. Let's see what we got here. Sorry, I'm so used to the, uh... there we go, look at that. One, two, three, dip under, body head, dig into the body, look at those body shots. Devastating body shots. Look crazy. So he's rolling with that three. He's rolling. Just about every time. Uh, what I'm seeing is every time you come up with that three, one, two, three, he's right hand. rolling with the three here uh. to avoid, and then he's coming up underneath. Yeah, we're not top. Time. Two, three, roll. Oh, he's coming up top. He's rolling. Okay, on a new video. I see. One, two, three, dip. Boom, roll under. He still got the devastating power. It looked crazy. And he's really gauging what his opponent's doing because sometimes he'll come up with a three, two, and sometimes he'll come up with a boom, boom, roll, and then to the two. Use that power. He comes so up and over to roll into the two. So it's all based off what his opponent's doing, kind of drawing him out with that, that hook to the body. But look how he's generating power on that body shot and then come up top with that hook to the head. Everything's coming from his it's legs. It's all from his legs. Like I mentioned earlier in our workout, that boxers got to do a lot, boxers, fighters got to do a lot of leg workout because it's mm -hmm. all coming from the power. The power coming from your legs, I mean. So look at Mike Tyson's legs. Look how he's doing So it's just like power. we broke down the deadlift. That's exactly. basically what he's coming up with every time. Same muscles. Which he could deadlift quite a bit. I bet you Mike Tyson, he's such a beast. So at the end of the video, Mike Tyson said, I'm back. I'm back. What do you think that means? I think he's going to come back and, and, and make a splash. I think maybe a one-off fight. Um, Cherry doesn't really make sense because Mike Tyson's so competitive, he's not going to go in there and just play with somebody in the ring. He's going to go out there and, and kill. That's uh, his mindset. And he said he didn't, he didn't want to unlock it because he's scared of the power that he possesses. And he's already unlocked it by you know, going back there. And he, he's ready to go in there and prove to himself and, and the rest of the world that he's still got it. But it's charity. You think Mike Tyson gonna unleash the? I'm gonna eat your kids, Mike yeah, Tyson. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's, Mike Tyson. That's a fighter in him. And, and, and it's, about, it's, it's not about money. Ooh. It's about competition. I wonder who would you think that would get in there for Mike Tyson for charity? I'm I, would, thinking, I wouldn't do it for free. <laughs> I'm thinking that there's been a rumor going around that him and Shannon Briggs are supposed to fight in bare knuckle boxing. boxing. Yeah. They both ex heavyweight champions, and and I think I believe they offered him about fifty million dollars for uh, bare knuckle boxing, and they're saying you know he uh, he wouldn't do that because he can get hundreds of millions if uh, he did a real boxing match. But I think it comes down to 
to his mindset and his heart. He, he It's not about the money. He's got the money. Do you think it's safe? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think that the viewers will be there? If he does it, the viewers will be there. That'll make Baron Apple Boxing. It'll take it to the next level. And, uh, you know, it's a sport. It, it's something that we've done uh, from the beginning of time. Now we have to put on gloves. Uh, I'm not against taking it back to bare knuckle, but these guys got to get paid with the work. Mm, but man, Mike Tyson, 53 years old. Shannon Sharp said on ESPN he wouldn't do it. Shannon Sharp, yo, he said, I was looking at that earlier. Shannon Sharp said he would not do it. He was like, he's a football player. He's like, no matter what it takes, he's like, he, people not conditioned to punch. Take a punch, I'm sorry. Yeah. Shannon Sharp, he's not conditioned to take a punch. He might could tackle Mike Tyson, but if you don't know how to take a punch, you're screwed. So what charity person is going to get in there with Mike Tyson? What what who, who do you think that could handle Mike Tyson in charity boxing event? Maybe maybe one of the uh Deontay Wilder, one of one of the top heavyweights in the world, but I still don't see anybody doing it for free. If, come on, if it's, if it's charity and heavy and uh, Deontay Wilder wanna get in there, something gonna happen for real. They're gonna try to knock each other out. Yeah. So we gotta get somebody who's a little bit more that know how to box, but not as as good as Deontay Wilder. Yeah, <laughs> and they're gonna turn it. It's not a charity match. It's <laughs> gonna be a real fight for real, because Deontay Wilder been saying that he was the greatest heavyweight of all time. Right, and that's and Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's yeah, but he's saying he would have knocked out Mike Tyson in his front. Deontay yeah. Wilder said those words, so Let's I'm make thinking, it happen. I think those. That's, I don't think that happened. I think Tyson is 53 years old. Deontay Wilder still is prime. They gonna try to kill each other. If not, Mike Tyson, I don't think he can recover the way he did when he was. 30 that's years very, old. That's very true. As, as you age, you know, your body starts to break down. I know. Uh, and you're not able to train the same. You're not. You, you can't train at that intensity for your whole life. But look, on these mitts right here, he don't have no opponent in front of him. So he, you can look good all day with nobody in front of him. But when you actually about to get into a fight, his first fight coming back, do you think Mike Tyson still have that hunger to rip somebody hard out their chest when they punch him? Like they, you know, the, the same Mike Tyson. Do you think that he still have that at the age yes. 53? I think he still has the same mind. It's a matter of his body that holds up. Uh, so man, I um, I got I got a couple of I'm thinking about a few things to this, man. I'm thinking that he should get a couple charity fights, see how you do in the charity box match, and then get him a regular exhibition match where he does not get really paid with somebody at like a contender level or gatekeeper fighters, a couple of gatekeepers out there that never made it to the next level in boxing. And that's like a Gerald Washington or a, um, I can't think right now, but there's so many people who's gatekeepers in boxing that don't know how to get to that next level. And, and he, Mike Tyson, the way he's punching on that video, he still got that scary speed, that scary power to handle a gatekeeper, but I do not think he's ready for a top 10 fighter like a Michael Hunter or Deontay Wilder or a Tyson Fury. Somebody in the prime. Uh, what about this? Know. So like in uh, Bellator, they bring a lot of uh, UFC legends back, like uh, Tito Ortiz, mm -hmm. um, you know, something like think about that, that along those lines where you find another legend, like George Foreman coming like back. Chuck Liddell and uh, who do you fight recently? You know, go to uh, promotion. You fight Tito Ortiz. Tito Ortiz, and yeah. they're, You know, they're, they're two much older gentlemen that, you know, obviously they couldn't compete with the best of the world or people in their prime. But if they come back and compete with each other, they're both on the same uh, trajectory, both towards the end of their career, and they both have really big names. So a lot of people so, don't tune in to watch that fight. So there's Shannon Briggs and Mike Tyson, or I heard that 57 year old Evander Holyfield is going to make a comeback. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, left, left hook. Holyfield? Do have left hook or right uppercut? Yeah, it's nasty. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think that, yeah, would, that would be the fight to make then, Evander Holyfield against Mike Tyson, both. Retired legends, uh, you know, and you'd be able to at least have them on the same playing field. And even the Holyfield still got some uh, bad blood against Mikey for fighting zero that one fight. So right, that'd be a good comeback. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. look at the hype behind Everybody it. He bit, he bit his ear off, and <laughs> now they're old men, and they, they, you know, they're, they're respectable. But yeah. you know, every time he looks in the mirror, he's got to think about that dude bit my ear off. So you think he wants to get back, right? And I think, you know, they, they miss those big paychecks. And I think if they come back, they're going to get that guap. They're going to get that They're going to get, get paid, <laughs> and they might even get paid more than they got paid back in the day because inflation is real. And uh, I noticed even in my own career, I've fought some of my toughest fights for a couple grand. You know, I, 
make a lot more than that just because of the level that I've gotten my uh, my career to. It doesn't matter the opponent. It matters, you know, how many fans you have, who's watching you fight, who who will pay to watch you fight. Like the back of my shirt say there's levels of shit. There's levels, levels of shit. Once you know what you are, you you're making some money. And <laughs> these guys coming back up. will make a lot of money from that. These dudes are heavyweight legends. And they come back just the three one minute round, that would be all the world need to see. Three one minute round, I think that Mike Tyson, Shannon Briggs, and Gunda Holyfield, who has one who has one of those older heavyweights uh I don't know George Foreman can come back. He's too old. He made a comeback at 38 and won won the world, the world title at 45, so I don't that, know. I but that's the one to make. <laughs> that's a good one, yeah, though. That's the one to make. Vander Holyfield, Michael Tyson, Moore, Klitschko. Klitschko, Riddick Bowe. Oh, Klitschko. Triple Hill, Klitschko can come back. Cause they about the same age. They, Klitschko probably like another four or five years younger than him. So he's probably like 45, 46. Yeah, and he's a great heavyweight in he, his he's time. He's a great heavyweight. He just retired like five years ago. So. Yeah. You got a point, Clinchco. I think Mike Tyson and Clinchco. Matter of fact, I was thinking about that. Why don't you have a seat? Real quick, man? Over, here. <laughs> over here. <laughs> you over here. over here, man. I, I, we got to heal. What's up, everybody? How do you think he fare up? You know, we talk about. You know, a lot of people are saying, I don't know if he can handle a top ten fighter, top twenty fighter. How do you think he fare up against Andy Ruiz? You know, typically known to be out of shape, mm. had enough power to shock the world and catch. You know. Uh, Anthony Joshua with the, with the punch. I, I, Tyson's speed and power, he has that Early on, he could definitely uh, do a lot of damage, but like Andy Ruiz, he's, you know, a big guy, but he still carries that cardio into the late rounds. And, uh, you know, Mike Tyson, especially being older, he's not going to be able to develop that endurance. Uh, you know, it takes time to build it up, and if you can't recover from day to day like you did when you were young, yeah. then it's going to take you the longer you get ready for a fight, and you're not going to be able to last that many rounds. Just the right, so that's what I like to see, like, a five, six round exhibition. Exactly. Yeah. Just piggyback off what Ocho said when he said young. And that point, youth. Andrew Ruiz Andrew Ruiz would use in a later with I'm sorry, he would he would um lose in the early rounds if Mike Tyson come out strong, but in the later rounds that's when Andrew Ruiz would come out of top because of the youth. Yeah. Nothing you could do about father time. Right. Once youth hit, Mike Tyson know but once you know, Mike Tyson gotta get on Andrew Ruiz the first three rounds and Dominate. Yeah. I think Mike Tyson, if he's look at that, look at that, look at that video. Yeah. He still got that devastating punching power. I can do that. Yeah, he'd look good on the scorecards too. Even if he didn't shock the world it. with one, one, one big punch. You know, he he'd look so well, good. Well he would on do that, yeah, he would yeah. do this the whole time. Yeah. That's his whole style. And he would he would block on the inside so you can't really get much power going. Uh, really all you the only way to fight him is like an all E style, like stick and move, stick and move. Yeah. Look how he shifted his weight on both of those body shots. I mean, because Ruiz with Joshua, he caught him with one, one overhand right, right, which kind of uh, just threw off his equilibrium. He couldn't collect his feet under himself after that. You know, if you look at that that first shot where he was hurt, you know, the other shots were as devastating. He just couldn't catch himself. He got hit early yeah. before he got warmed up, and uh, Andrew Ruiz shocked the world. So seeing Tyson like that, I think he can do it, you know. But, yeah, of course, but you know, back into it, it, it made more sense to do a charity fight with a legend, I think. Yeah, I think so. Know, or an exhibition with a legend. Somebody with a legend, and then they, I mean, you'll be on the same playing field. Yeah, you bet. You know, yeah. well, I like to play Chico, yeah. I knew we were about to break it down for y'all. Oh, your class? Oh, about to have some fun. All right. The other way, let's do a one, two, three. Slip, body, body, and roll. Throw me up, but you're not know, left handed. We gotta get it. So, one, two, three, five, five, five. Body, body, roll under. Yep, body, body. Roll, oh, that's straight. Yep, that's it. Ooh, bang. Like that. I'm not gonna hit you down. I got you, I got you. Go. Ooh, bang. Under. That's a breakdown. Let's do it. So, the whole point of that one, two, three, let's go on the right hand stand so we can get him tight. I ain't gonna hit you. Alright, so he did the one, two, three. All up top, then he slipped my right hand with that body shot. He broke it down, hand on top, two body shots. When your opponent throw a right hand, what's open? Boom. Okay. Ribs, big time, man. He Three. can dig right here and get under the rib yeah. and really do a lot of damage. Now, obviously, what's open is his far side. He got under it, under. boom, boom. Right just like that. So let's break it down one more time. Yeah. Boom. boom, slip, up, up. He rolled under my hook, boom. The guy rotate his hips, he generating all that power. One punch. Boom, rotate. Get on this, shift your weight. 
He's not punching with his arms. He's using all that momentum with his hips. Boom, rotate. Power comes from the ground all the way through my hips. Yep. You realize he stayed low the entire time. You stand up tall, you take a power on your shot. But if you stay low, look, still got his knee. Boom, right down the pipe. So let's put it together. Body, body, whoop, whoop. Right on top. One more time. Move. Oh, I realized that. I was real. Boom, just like that. I want to look at that Tyson nasty power. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, get that right jab. Mike Tyson is it. What you want, man? Want some more work? I feel like I'm ready to get some work in. <laughs> you keep on going. I'm like, yo, we can keep going. You want to give your class some stuff, man? That's what I want to give him. I want to give him. Everything comes from the hips. Let's get a ring so I can see everything. You got the cover. Glory to God, yeah. Millie with the rock, Jordan with the house, catch me at the Grove, 10.30 on the 